Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in and welcome to My Crafting World. My name is Anna. I would like to share with you a, um, a swap that I was in. We, we were supposed to create, it was a Facebook uh, group. We were to create a Tussy Mussy. Now, I just love Tussy Mussies. I had never made one before, but I've seen some really beautiful ones. So I thought, yes, let me join the swap and give it a try. So uh, it was uh, to be an Easter theme. So this is what I have come up with. First of all, I did make the cone. It is a cardstock underneath, and it just had some, um, it was like a swirly design. It had blues and yellows and, you know, light pinks. And all I did was cover it up with this, this lace fabric of, you know, to make it look a little more vintagey. And um, so the handles, I used uh, three different ribbons. And this, the handles, you know, it just goes over the top like that. And um, I let the tails hang on each side. And it is glued with hot glue. Everything is, I used hot glue for everything. So it is glued under this feather boa, uh, just, you know, for added um, durability. So the first thing I did was, of course, make the cone. And I used a yellow paper on the inside. Again, that's cardstock as well. So it's pretty, it's pretty stiff. And I glued on the, the, the handles after I glued, glued down the, um, the lace here, the, the lace, I don't know, it's not a lace per se, but anyway, so the lace, I, I glued that down. And then um, I did glue down this one um, lace. That one comes from... Um, Oh, that one comes from Walmart. <clears throat> that is the, um, I think they're like 98 cents. Uh, the 98 cents lace in this little bubble thing. So that's where the, the white lace came from. And then this boa, that one is an old, old boa I had. And that one comes from Hobby Lobby. I, I don't remember how long the, uh, the, the boa is. But just know that if you're going to make one, one when you cut it, you're gonna have little flyaways everywhere. So uh, just know that. So I did glue down the lace and you know, I, I it it's not very noticeable. So I may hang, wind up hanging something from the lace. I'm not sure yet. That was just an afterthought. Anyway, so on the front, there's the front. I used some flowers. Those flowers come from Michael's. I would used it in another project, so I thought, well, you know, I have those flowers. Let's give that a try. So all I did was glue down a doily, and this is your basic doily, and I believe I had gotten these from Hobby Lobby. And um, so these stickers, guys, are the stickers that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby on clear, you know, when they were doing their clearance. So um, I don't have the package with me. Yeah, I do. Here we go. It was this this package. They were in this package um, as far as the bunny and the little chick, and then the. Uh, the Easter eggs because it, it's got this one right here and it's got a couple over here and Those came from this package. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm so excited. I got those So these are up on dimensionals and I, like I said um, This one was not a dimensional. So I just put them on there and um, hot glued it down and then I uh, the, the bow was also from Hobby Lobby. That one was a um, a clearance as well. There you go. And uh, I hot glued that one. You know, guys, I don't know if, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know if you guys got any of the bows. 
but um, the bows, I guess they had been up there for a while. So um, the top bow kind of uh, fell apart. It, you know, came off the bottom uh, uh, piece. So I glued everything again with hot glue to make sure that it's not going to fall apart. I stickled the the little feet on the um, on the little bunny, and then on the chick I did the little beak. I don't know. I don't even know if you can see that, but I did the little beak and his little feet. And I tried to do it with uh, with the this Easter egg in the center, but the stickles that I used, you know, I, I don't know why uh, it didn't come out as well as it. I think it should have, but you know, just got to keep trying. So, and the flowers, <clears throat> they all are stickled in the, uh, uh, the outer edges have, um, I keep saying stickles. Yes, it is stickles. Okay. So, um, on the outer edges, I, I added stickles and then, um, on all the flowers, I had tried adding some, um, some other spray, but you know, it just didn't pick up the color very well. You can see a little bit right there on the pink or it was pink, the pink on the flower. So the wider, the white or the lighter ones did pick some of it up, but, um, you know, that's why I went over it with the, so you can see some of the shine on there, but it, it wasn't shining as much as I thought it could. So, uh, that's why I went over it with the stickles. And then these white flowers are from Recollections. And again, all I did was stickle the, the edges. And then the little pink and blue flower, there you go, are again from the same pack that the, um, the bunny came from. And I'm losing my insides here. Yep. Okay. So, and then the bottom, of course, I put a little, just a little tassel of some sort. Okay. So, this is kind of hard to do to poke all that in there, to make it go in there. So next time I think I will put something in there, glue it down before I actually make the little, um, the tassel in. And this of course is just one of those, um, decorative trim from, um, Hobby Lobby. There you go. Yep. That's all that was. So anyway, um, I, I, I like my, my Tussie Mussy. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, I had a lot of fun making this. So I think, um, I think I'll make another one. I might keep the next one though. Make it in my craft room colors. Guys, thank you so much. I hope you'll like the video and subscribe. So uh, I will put down a link to my Facebook page because we do a lot of uh, swapping as well. So thanks a lot, guys. You all have a great day. Talk to you later.